I'll keep on questioning and questioning and questioning. Why does it always have to be the Daily Mail? They've proven it to us times and times again that they can't get rid of their obsession over the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. No wonder they will keep on talking about them each and every single day, not forgetting to create lies and rumors. We know very well that that's how they earn a living. They earn a living just from inciting hateful words negative about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Just by speaking negatively about them, that's how they are able to carry out on their daily basis. The Daily Mail wrote today, this is the beginning over the end of the Sussex Entertainment brand. Of late, I've been seeing that we have a lot of uh, online predictors, a lot of people who know well how to predict somebody else's future. Of late, that has been the trend. And allow me to read you an article that was written by Kezia and kindly give you your comments about this. The article goes ahead and says, it's always a weird feeling when we know the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are about to launch something or do something big, but no one knows what. And so the peanut gallery just makes wild predictions and as always nasty assumptions about the state of Meghan and Harry's marriage and business. The speculation about their business has actually died down a lot over the past week. Hopefully because there is a limit of how many times British and Australian royal commentators can claim to know how Americans really feel about the Sussexes. And I quote, my guess is that this summer will be all about Heart of Invictus leading into the Invictus game in German and then in the early field we will probably get some big announcements from the Sussexes about what's next for them. I mean, I hope it's sooner than what than that I would have loved it if Harry and Meghan were making deals and announcements every week. But I get it. In any case, the dumb kings is coffee is parroting some of the hater talking points and of course the mail picked it up. We are not surprised. There's one thing that I've seen times and times again that we expect nothing positive from any UK media that has got to do anything to do with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. What they are so much best at doing is always speaking negative about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And I quote, the Sussex brand is tainted. Yes, the Netflix series was called Harry and Meghan and Meghan's podcast was called Archetypes and nothing was ever labeled Sussex Entertainment. But sure, Meghan is absolutely not going back to acting. She's made that perfectly clear. She sees herself as a producer and content creator now. The one thing I will say is that I think it's correct to assume that Meghan will be moving more towards the entertainment side and brand side signed with WME and Harry Tint. Does it follow that WME is forcing Meghan and Harry to work separately or whatever? No, these people are just desperate for Sussex split. I love the ending and that's very true. Each and every single day we find uh, or we come across negative things, negative articles, rumors about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. But there's one thing that I love about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, that is Harry and Meghan, how they are handling things at this particular juncture. They no longer mind or care what people say as long as they continue getting focused and doing what they feel is best and right for them. Here we are talking about Harry and Meghan working in separate. It's not bad. It is not bad. Whether they work separately, whether they work together, one thing they know very well is that nothing is going to come in between their marriage. And I bet it's a high time that also the tabloids stop speaking lies that they know nothing about. Stop spreading rumors that they have no clue about and let Harry and Meghan be. 
I know very well once Harry and Meghan are set, once the Duke and Duchess of Sussex feel like it is the time and we need to come out and tell people this is our next move, they will for sure come out in person. They won't have to send anyone on their behalf. So one thing I'll keep on saying and I'll repeat it times and times again, what the tablets need to do, what the Daily Mail, what the UK media at large, the haters, the derangers need to do, they just need to sit back, be patient and wait for the next bombshell that Harry and Meghan are going to release. And I know it's going to be a hit back to them. They won't believe what's going to be come out next of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Let me read you a comment that was made by somebody. Somebody went ahead and said, the royals they love are boring them so it's time to make up stuff about meg and harry nothing to see here flocks just more made up malky wanted to use george's favorite words we've seen that of late there's nothing good going on back in the uk most especially with the royal family it's each and every single day we just see cats and uh, William outside here embarrassing each other. Camilla and um, Charles on the other side, they just have their own things. So I bet they're also bored with their own royals. And that's why, knowing very well they can't speak anything or the truth about them, because those are one amongst their supporters. That's why they tend to divert and speak so much negative and ill about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. People who are so much focused on themselves, people who are so much focused on what is best and they are living their best life. That's where they tend to lay their hands in which it's really, really bad. Somebody also went ahead and said, the Daily Mail headline, Sussex split imminent. Harry wants to go home to the UK. King William and Camilla and Queen Catherine say, we told you so. Those are some of the headlines. Each and every single day, the Daily Mail needs to create something that's just going to capture people's attention. Something that is just going to kind of be the topic of discussion. We know very well that what has been stated here. And one thing I've said, and I'll keep on repeating, is that Harry is going nowhere. Harry is never going back to the UK. As much as they still want him, they are never going to see him there. In case he goes there, something important would have taken him back to UK. But as for now, as per their expectations, they just need to sit down and watch them not come into a fulfillment. Somebody also went ahead and said, I'm just excited to see what Megan and WME are cooking up. We all are so much anxious to see what next Harry and Meghan are going to present to people. And one thing that we will keep on wishing them is nothing but the best. We wish them the best. That's what I can say. I know we have a lot of squaddies here who are truly supporting the Duke and Duchess of Sussex in each and everything that they do. As much as people are so much out here just creating hate campaign towards the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, there's just one thing I can say. What are some of their expectations? And the fact that their expectations are so much negative, they are never going come. They are never going to come to pass. If you spend so much wanting a downfall for the earth, for the other person, trust me, you you won't see the cracks forming on your own foundation and that's what i can say i don't know what you think about this but kindly just leave a comment down below let's just train ourselves wanting to see our fellows our other person other parties doing and emerging winners in each and everything we do and i believe in that way we all are going to emerge successful but the fact that people are wanting downfall for the other person trust me you it's never going to come to pass just kindly leave your comment down below and thank you so much for tuning in and that was our today's podcast see you guys in our next podcast bye